We're looking to co-locate our mechanical shaping in Tanzania because of this hydro energy lower cost. Talking graphite here with EcoGraph and Andrew, safe jurisdiction where he talked about how closely aligned Australia and the US are and how that's important in terms of uh, tax credits, uh, financial incentives. Now, Ipanku being in Tanzania, um, how does Tanzania fit into this? Is this also safe jurisdiction, US friendly? Andrew, could you please highlight a bit for us what's the case right now in Tanzania? Yeah, look, the case for Tanzania is very positive. We're seeing significant interest flowing in from the US. We just recently had uh, the US uh, Vice President visit Tanzania, strengthening ties around the critical and battery minerals. We're going to see further support from, from Europe uh, supporting East Africa, particularly Tanzania, given its historical uh, relationship. We are going to see you know, much greater uh, growth in Tanzania because of these changes. And uh, we're seeing large companies like Shell, BHP, come back into Tanzania. And we think it's going to be you know, a, a hotspot uh, for critical battery minerals when you look at uh, other uh, commodities that occur in Tanzania, it goes a lot. It has a lot of the green, green minerals that's required, and uh, Tanzania has a strong heritage with with uh, and history with Germany, the UK, Australia is well known. Australia operates very efficiently. A lot of Australian companies have uh, been very successful in uh, in mining minerals in in Tanzania over the last uh, two decades and uh, obviously Asia, you know, Japan, Korea, uh, these mineral security partnerships have a strong connection as, as well. I do have a quick follow-up question on that one, Andrew. So perhaps you can explain what the infrastructure picture currently is like in Tanzania, and more specifically uh, for the area that you're operating in, because of course, mining is notorious for using a lot of power, a lot of roads. Um, so yeah, what is the picture currently like? Yeah, no, that's a super question, Stein, because um, one of Tanzania's advantages is its uh, large hydro energy mix uh, that's avail becoming available at the moment. 40 to 45 percent of the energy is coming from hydro energy and we're going to see that increase over the next few years up to 70 80 percent and what that means is it's cheap energy it's uh, renewable cheap energy it's low carbon uh, energy um, which is attractive to the supply chain we're seeing a lot of infrastructure go into tanzania roads rail we've just seen uh, rail open up the northwest of, of Tanzania. We're looking to co-locate our mechanical shaping in Tanzania because of this hydro energy lower cost um, and low carbons um, footprint that's developed from the, the energy source.